Hello everyone and welcome back. This is one of my favorite lessons, one of my favorite concepts in all of programming because really it's one of the most important concepts in all of programming. We use this every single day and that is conditionals. This is where you can choose what to do based on data. This is when programs go from simply repeating things to actually being able to make decisions based on inputs. To give you an example of a conditional is whenever you log into a website, you put in your username and your password, and then some code on the server will check that username and the password, and if it matches with what's on file, it'll log you in. If it doesn't, it'll redirect you to the page that says, nope, sorry, that didn't work, please put it in again, match this captcha or whatever. Those are conditionals, that's conditional logic. There are really just three conditional keywords in JavaScript. There's if, there's if else, and then there's else. Now I know if else is actually two words, but JavaScript sees it as one. The syntax of the if statements are if, open parentheses, whatever, put your condition in here, open curly brackets, and then you put whatever your code in here, do stuff. So now I'm over in the console and we're going to do a little bit of things to kind of demonstrate this, give you some examples of this. So let's go ahead and make const username equals max const password equals woof so those are the stored username and the stored password so then let's make a const submitted username equals max and a const submitted password equals bark so now we have the right username, but we have the wrong password. So if username equals submitted username and password equals submitted password, we put our open curly braces, console.log log you in. And then we close our curly braces, and then, but then we put else if, oops, put all that in again, else if, I forgot to put my open and close, username equals submitted username, so the first one is checking if the username and the password match. If they do, they log you in. If not, it comes to the next one. Else if the username is right, but the password is not, console.log incorrect password. And close that, and then else, in other words, in all other cases, we're simply going to console.log error logging in. Check username and password. So we're going to go ahead and submit this and we'll see what it comes out with. Boom, incorrect password. So it hit this second line. So if both of those are true, it's gonna log you in. Unfortunately, both of those are not true. That second one is false. So then this statement, this block of code right here in between these curly braces is never run and it simply goes to the next one. And then it checks else if if the username is equal to the submitted username, is it? Username, submitted username, they're the same. So this is what is run, the, the code between these curly braces. Console.log incorrect password, and that's what we saw. And then it skips the rest of this. It does not run this because it hit this condition. So an if statement, you can put as many else ifs in there as you want, and it will only do one of them. It'll do the first one that evaluates to true, and it will skip all of the rest of those. If this first one was true, it would just log you in, and it would skip all the rest of this. So that's how if statements work in JavaScript.